Hello everyone, this is Mama Peace Kitchen. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make black soup. I've seen a lot of video online in the YouTube and the, but those processes are so appalling and I said no, I have to correct those erroneous mistakes being dished out to the public there. Here I have dry bitter leaf. It's dried. This is soaked or wet bitter leaf. Some people said washed. It's already washed briefly. It's still bitter. Here, if you want to blend, if you don't have a good blender, don't put this in the blender and add water. It will blend properly. The first thing you do is squeeze this. You make it as if it's like crumb, bread crumbs. Then before you add water and blend, add this and blend it smoothly. It is not vegetable that you use blender to chop. So kindly blend it very well and make it smooth. I have smoked turkey here. I have beef. I have bonga fish. This is how it looks like. I haven't removed the skin for you to know when you want to get it in Africa store. Here, after removing the skin, normally what I do is this. I break it into pieces and I put them aside. I have smoked fish here. You wash. Use salt and warm water. By so doing, you will not get up, uh, taste any smoke that we used to uh, smoke the fish. This is tomatoes. This is tatashe, fresh big pepper. You have small fresh pepper here. They call it rodo in Africa. I have this, Maggie. I have this. I don't know what it's called in English. Normally, when my grandma made this soup those days for us, when we visit her in the village in Africa, she usually add this. Some people don't like it. It's spicy, mind you, a word of caution. When you are using this, just take one or two pieces. If you are using it for the first time, because it's spicy, when you use it, and if the soup is so spicy, if you have kids like me, they won't want to eat your food. This is mackerel, fresh fish. Some people don't like fresh fish when they are making black soup. In my own opinion, I usually use fl a fresh fish. It's good. You slice it, get off the head, this tail, you wash properly. This is crayfish. You know when you are bringing in crayfish from Africa to South, uh, North America here, and the border, they usually seize it if you don't chop it. So it's already chopped in the blender. I have already chopped this. So some people don't like to use tomatoes. Like when our parents make this soup in Africa, they don't add tomatoes. They blend their bitter leaf. Add crayfish and all. So you add your meat, wash it, season it, and put it in the pot. Don't add too much water, like a cup of water or two is okay. So that your ingredients or whatsoever you are adding could get into the meat properly. Then add your smoked turkey that you have washed in warm water. After adding this turkey, let it boil for like 15-20 minutes. I don't allow my meat to cook properly. Because when you overcook your meat, it takes soggy and the taste of that soup is gone. So don't overcook your meat. Add your stockfish crumbs. If you don't have it, it's still okay. Since you have crayfish, you have your burger fish and you have your smoked fish. Then add your fresh fish. Don't forget, when you put it on fire, this your meat have cooked for like 15 minutes. Add your bitter leaf that you have blended with your fresh pepper. If you are the one that likes tomatoes, add it. I don't usually add tomatoes all the time. Then I have my red oil, palm oil. I use one or two spoons of this to eat. We don't use too much of oil here. Not that it's too expensive because of the uh, huge calorie that is in it. So if you are someone that don't mind your weight, it's okay. Just season it to your own taste, the way you prefer it. I'm going to pause the video now, then I'm going to blend my stuff, add it, then I will take you to my pot and see. Then you season it with salt. A spoon of salt is okay, or season it to your own taste. If you are the one that doesn't like much salt in your food, it's okay. Just season it to your taste. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is my soup now after blending. The meat I parboiled for like 15 minutes to 20 minutes. 
now i added all that stuff and the bitter leaf i stir the bitter leaf immediately i added it because you know they've what pre-washed it before bringing it to canada here so i added it then when you stir immediately you are giving it a little bitter state, uh, taste when you cook your soup this is how it's going to look like not like the green stuff that i see online or like those vegetables that they chop no this is your black soup your dry bonga fish that you pieces you add that five minutes to when your soup is cooked the taste is so nice try it this is it thank you so much for watching this episode uh please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much once again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below you can find us at twitter and instagram at mama p kitchen no apostrophe s and our gmail is mama p africa kitchen at gmail.com thank you for watching everything you basically need is in the description Please leave a comment or text us at the provided. Thank you.